All right, greetings and salutations, you guys. Welcome back to the Crypto Truth. I have some a little bit of exciting news. We have a hollow update. So this is great. Hopefully we can get a little bit more information. Obviously, this is from a Medium post. So um, I'm really excited to be reading this. Hopefully we get more of these more often because we all are curious about hollow fuel and exactly what's going on. So basically, Hollow Fuel Hap Design Energies, our progress, uh, introducing the new Hollow Fuel app design, progress on many fronts, and moving Hollow Fuel up on the roadmap. All right, introducing the new Hollow Fuel app design. It says last year we released uh, Hollow Fuel Hap to our community testers on a previous version of Hollow Chain. The testing we did then, although focused on the Hollow Chain infrastructure, allowed us to observe and listen and for testers to provide incredibly valuable feedback. It, it set us up to reimagine Hollow Fuel as an application so that our alpha test community can have an idea of what to expect. Today we are sharing the new design. Hollow Fuel will work uh, both uh, installed locally and also as a hosted application on Hollow for use for by any web user. We've spiffed it up and it ha now has a proper logo, a simpler UI, and more intuitive UX. Here's a quick tour. Oh, wow. So if I'm zooming in on this, wow, nice logo. Okay. Hollow Fuel will have a dashboard where users can see their balance, initiate transactions, and respond to in incoming notifications. Oh, so this is awesome. See, I, I, I like this. I like this setup here. I this, People, this is why I, I, I'm into Hollow Fuel. I love, look at, look at this. Um, just to be able to see, um, hey, you receive hollow fuel from who, where you can accept, pay, decline. You can pay somebody else. Um, this is great. Send a request. You got the, your balance up on the upper left hand side here, um, which is cool. And then they also have pending and decline. This is a great setup. This this looks awesome, people. Um, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, and then it says completed transactions down here. So basically, like <laughs> this is great. Um, I I know uh, many of you guys have been having questions about Hollow Fuel and, and the hot token, and I think that's legitimate. Like I still do have questions about the hot token, uh, but I do know for a fact that Hollow Fuel is going to be something that's going to be awesome. I don't know exactly what the, um, I know it's going to be traded in for one for one so far. We still need to get some clarification on where that's going to happen, how that's going to happen, why that's going to happen, and what exchanges are going to be involved with that. But as far as we know right now, um, I, as far as I'm concerned right now, excuse me, is that Hollow Fuel is going to be um, awesome and Hollow Fuel is going to work magnificently. Um, on uh, Hollow. So Hollow Fuel enables recipients to accept or decline transactions. The transaction history can be filtered, sorted, and searched. And that's awesome. I'm sorry, you guys. Give me one second. Wow. I thought I turned off that alarm, but I guess I did. I really, really apologize. Seems like I get... You know, I, I finally put my phone on vibrate because I'm all excited about this. And then something happens with some alarm or whatever. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yes, this is this is awesome. This looks great. Um, I'm really happy to see some updates here. Uh, sending and requesting transactions is simple, easy with the new hollow fuel workflow. Uh, so let's take a look at this. And we can see here that um, someone has available balance. Uh, you can send a certain amount. You got the network fees here. Um, you can send Hollow Fuel to. Uh, you're gonna enter the hash ID. So um, yeah, and then you're gonna have a note and everything else in between. So this is this is great, people. This is this is what's going to make Hollow uh, Hollow really take off. This is gonna make Hollow Chain really take off. Uh, is that how easy um, using Hollow Fuel is going to be? How seamless is going to be? And um, also the ideas of just being able to use Hollow Fuel uh, to 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 purchase things online. So if you're using Hollow Fuel to, um, I believe they tried to use an example of using Hollow Fuel to um, get a, um, a Uber. You know, you, you go on an Uber and then you 
use the hollow fuel to get, grab an Uber, and then all of the history is there, the payment history. Look, people, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit excited, as you guys can see. I can't say I can't stop saying how awesome this is. But I really like the idea of hollow fuel, and obviously, I like the technology of hollow chain. But I really like the idea of hollow fuel. So. Anyway, progress on many fronts. As you can see, we've been hard at work design, but design is not the only thing we've uh, been making progress. If you have been reading the regular updates we share in Telegram or Twitter, you probably already know that we've got a working Elemental Chat application, and we are hard at work preparing the hollow chain and hollow infra infra infrastructure so that we can release it to all the hosts. We are almost there. So so far, they've been released. They've released it to like I believe 58 or 68 hosts or something like that. So they're trying to release it to all the hosts. Uh, which would be awesome. However, it may be a bit harder to see how all the other details that get shared in those messages are having us pro progress towards the other milestones on our roadmap. Here are some specific accomplishments from the past several weeks. So basically, they've been kind of quiet lately. So here's some of the updates of exactly what's been going on. DNAs for Hollow Hosting have been initially built or migrated on R RSM, including Hollow Hosting DNA, Server Logger, Hollow Fuel, Hollow Registration. UI design has been started for all apps and is nearing completion for some. Our KYC partner has been selected and we're working to complete registration flows inclusive of a new registration app, which is awesome. Uh, hosting infrastructure has been internally demonstrated. The main feature left before full integration testing is to ensure that signals can work end-to-end -end in the hosted context. An early version of the HDK Holochains Developer Kit has been created for RSM with testing and feedback from community app developers. An automated testing framework that uses Holo ports to test Holochain apps instead of services like AWS has been recently built. We're using that chat, we're using that right now to do the behavioral load testing for Elemental Chat, which is great. They've been doing a lot with Elemental Chat for almost like a good month now. And I believe at the last AMA, they tried to, you know, use the example of um, using Elemental Chat and stuff like that. So if you guys want to look at that video, I highly recommend you. I believe it's AMA 44, if I'm not mistaken. So check that out. Now, um, it says all this progress has made us take a fresh look at our roadmap and make a few changes. All right, this is great. So now we're looking at our roadmap here. Yes, you read it right. We're actually ahead of where we expected to be in some ways. While it's taking a while to complete infrastructure testing, because that is one of the most complex aspects of our work, we have been able to move many other activities forward. Because of that, we decided to shift the hollow fuel application up in the roadmap. Here is what it looks like with the new changes. Oh my God. Oh, and we're right here. Um, host the Elemental Chat on Holo, Holo Fuel RSM. So uh, hosts use Elemental Chat. So we're around this area. And um, so we are completely in alpha right now. For sure, for sure, in alpha right now. So if anybody asks what's going on, they're in alpha right now. Um, and I can see here, yes, they moved uh, Hollow Fuel, uh, Hollow Registration up. This is awesome, people. Publisher, okay, so the next thing is uh, host uh, console, uh, console invoices. Okay, purchase tests, Hollow Fuel from Reserve. So people, this is, this is, I, I know I keep saying people, but this is great. This is really, really good to hear. This is positive news um, that we've been wanting to hear. And I'm glad that um, they're moving up. We all have questions still about hollow fuel. Like I said, um, hopefully we can get all of those uh, answered pretty soon. It says more importantly, however, is getting a sense of how much of the work is done. Below our estimates of work completed for a few milestones that follow our infrastructure releases. Approximate progress or upcoming milestones. So we have the host console usage, hollow fuel app registration, hollow fuel transactions, and publisher portal setup app. Wow. And this is the percentage complete. This is awesome. 
All right, the past month has not only been a month of progress toward our milestones for Hollow and Hollow Chain, it has been a month of social unrest, and we've engaged in deep consideration of our place in the future of technology and how we want to contribute to society. As a team, we reflected on concentrating tendencies of power and, and the responsibilities that come with inherently centralized technologies. We've also delved into some profound discourse about how Hollow Chain is fundamentally different from um, Hollow. The ways that these two technologies work together but divergent will be the theme of exploration in our writings over the course of the next year. We look forward to the journey. And yes, this is great because we really do need to um, understand the differences between hollow chain and hollow. Um, it's going to be important. In closing, I want to get and appreciate all of those in the app ecosystem and in the community of testers who continue to contribute their time and energy and who are a key part of the success of this project. Thank you, Mary. So Mary is the one who wrote it. So probably Mary Camacho. So this is great, people. Um, for any of you guys, um, I'm going to be doing a little bit more, a uh, little more deep research on um, the differences between hollow and hollow chain and how um, before they come out with, you know, explaining more, I kind of want to look at the history. I advise all of you guys to really look at the history of Hollow Chain. Um, there, there's a lot of people who have explained it. Uh, they can explain a whole lot better than I can. Obviously, they're YouTube. They're, you know, a lot of these people are technical guys, so they can get into the, the meat and bones and be able to um, talk about things in a, in a simpler manner. But for me, as an investor, now I'm taking off my, my, my cheerleading cap and I'm just looking at this from an investor standpoint. From an investor standpoint, um, this is what I want to see. We all see how cheap hot is right now. So depending on how the hot token is going to be used, we're going to, or how they're going to use hollow fuel. Because if we get any notion that, you know, they're just going to say, oh, well, you know what, we're going to exchange all of the hot tokens to hollow fuel, and then it's just going to be hollow fuel. I really, mm, I don't know what's going to happen with that. And that's where, that's where the nervousness comes in, right? With everyone. That's where the nervousness comes in. We don't know what's going to happen with the hot token. So the more that we um, understand exactly what's going to happen with the hot token, the more we feel comfortable with in, uh, our investments, because I'm just like, I'm not a professional anything. Like I always say, make sure you do your own research. But for me personally, um, I always want to make sure that I do my own research. I also want to make sure that I'm comfortable with what I'm investing in and having updates like this and knowing that um, hollow chain is moving forward and that they're the future to me, they're the future. I believe that this is, um, this is a great site. This is a great thing. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited all over. If any of you guys um, have any questions or concerns, please go ahead and send me a, a message. Many of you guys already realize that I'm pretty active um, on YouTube and responding to messages. I really love to hear what you guys have to say. I really like to hear you guys' ideas or um, or what you guys um, will love to talk about. So um, these are just things that I'm just really excited about and um, I'm hoping that we can get this ball rolling. Hopefully we'll be in beta. I would love, I would love for uh, beta to uh, be pretty soon, but you know, can't rush these things. So April, I'm me personally, I have an April time frame of when I want them to at least be close, close to beta. But obviously I'm not a, you know, technical guy. I, I don't know these things. The only thing what we can do is just wait, people. That's all that we can do is just wait. So anyways, thank you guys very much. Uh, this is the crypto truth where I give you the truth as I see it. And yes, I am biased towards hollow uh, because I am a hollow chain, uh, staunch hollow chain supporter. But um, I try to give you guys the truth as I see it. You guys stay safe out there and take it easy. Okay. Bye, you guys.